Hey guys, Anthony with The Rag Company and welcome to a special edition Wash Wednesday because in today's video, we are here with none other than Jack. Boom, you absolute beauties. And Jack, where are we? We are in the wonderful little village of Elsenham in Essex. And yes, that is exactly where the only way Essex is filmed. Thank you all very, very much for coming. And what are we washing? This is our Stiana Gloss Saab 9.6 from 1974. Let's get it. All right, guys, so hopefully you're as excited as I am to be here in Elsen, 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 Elsenum. El Eslam? Elsenum. Elsenum. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's, three syllables. That's what I said, and we are here today to do a Wash Wednesday on this beast right here. Now, I know Jack's used to washing things like tanks, tractors, <laughs> All sorts of crazy stuff, but we're gonna, you know, we're gonna simplify it today with obviously the Stern of Gloss. Um, I guess you'd call this the Star Car, right? I call it the slab because it's slab. gray and low to the floor. But okay, all you right. Call it what you want. Hey man, this thing's pretty freaking sweet if you ask me, right? Can't wait to go rip around. I'm gonna drive, right? Um, I'm, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna two step <laughs> it, right? And then hopefully turn the right direction on the road. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna take that risk today. Are you okay with a gear stick? Um, absolutely. Are you sure? I don't know on it's that. Not, I, dun, dun, dun. I, I never <gasps> use. I never use that hand. Actually, I use that hand all the time. <laughs> all right. So today we are obviously using Stern and Gloss products, hence why I'm wearing uh, the hoodie here. We're also going to be throwing some Rag Company towels, hence the Rag Company T-shirt. Now. We're gonna be using pretty much Stern and Gloss products from start to finish here, getting this thing nice and cleaned up. So you said we're using what? A two bucket, three bucket, four, seven buckets. <laughs> one bucket per panel, no, I joke. Three buckets, one okay. for the wheels. We can disregard that one, get it out of the way. Another bucket, one for the foam shampoo solution. And then the other one, just the rinse bucket. I don't like putting shampoo straight onto the bodywork. That's why I use two buckets. I completely get it. And sometimes when it's a little bit overcast, I do do that. Yep. But we've got a little bit of direct sunlight, so I'm not going to put the shampoo on there because I want to isolate the area. That is the only reason why I do it. Perfect. I got most of that, I think. Yeah, I got most of that. <laughs> We're running on a little, like just a little bit of sleep today, right? A lot of transitioning periods going on and whatnot. And so uh, I'm going to try to keep up with you. Normally I'm running this show, Jackson, we're running this show today. He's pretty good, man. UK Wash Wednesday, featuring Jack, hosted by Jack. You go and take a seat on the Viper. You come back in an hour. <laughs> yeah, sounds pretty good. Right? Have myself, have myself a cup of tea, right? A cup of. Cup of. Cup of. Cup of tea. Cup yeah, of tea. Cup a tea. Yeah, cup right. a tea. Right. Cup of tea. Getting used to some of this stuff, right? It's been a few years since I've been here. Things have changed. Well, not really. I just haven't been here for a while. <laughs> so with that said, okay, what are we getting started with here in, we have this bucket, we have bubbler and the wash bucket, wash mitts. I'm going to start as I mean to go on. So okay. I'm going to be starting with Huel. Okay. In Huel, uh, sorry, Huel means wheel. That's why it's got Huel on the bucket. So for wheels, I like to use Huel wheel cleaner for the real heavy cleaning. And then I like to use a little bit of matter just to get some foamy, just to get a little, little bit of lubrication in there on the wash mitt. So yep. matter goes in the bucket. I shall agitate that with a foam lance, uh, with the pressure washer, and then we'll spray Huel on, get in there in the nooks and crannies with the detail factory brushes, mm -hmm. and then go over the faces using matter. Okay, perfect. Okay, so you want to start with wheels first then? Wheels first, wash them, uh, rinse aid them, and then go into the bodywork. Perfect. Le wheels are my least favorite thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some food. I'll come back when those are done, right? And then join in for the fun stuff, the hero stuff, right? I want to I want to bust through that gate, right? Walk in here with smoke, lights, right? Birds chirping. I want to actually a couple of doves to land on my shoulder yeah. and me to walk up and say, hey, you know, what am I? What am I wiping down now? Right, that's that's not how that works. Hey, <laughs> I'm not the one. On, I'm not the one on the Top Gear channel, so I guess I can't say that. So all right. Let's get these wheels done. All right, so we got our Huel here. You've already gotten started on one side, right? We're working, working kind of with the sun, with the shade today, right? A little bit in and out, yeah. Kind of sure. bouncing around, right? Trying to get things done. So uh, the wheels here are dirty, right? This thing has some pretty big brakes. Um, so it's kicking off quite a bit of brake dust, right? Yep. So for Huel, the wheel cleaner, we're knocking out wheels first. Talk to me, what, what, what's it doing? Huel is a three-parter. So okay. it's got the sodium thioglycate in there that everybody loves, the bit that turns purple. Yep. That's tackling the brake dust. Second part, it's got detergent, the same detergent found in Forced, the citrus pre-wash, so yep. that is tackling the mud. And then lastly, it's got a little bit of solvent in there that is ideally to loosen up tree sap, tar spots, stuff like that. I wouldn't call this a dedicated tar and glue remover. It's a bolt-on, but it is tackling the most common three found contaminants on the wheel. Okay, all right, very cool. And so pre-spray, pre, so how we do it at 
TRC is we always rinse first and then I'll hit it with fuel. Then I'll agitate, use the water as a lubricant. Do you go pre-spray first and then jump straight in agitation? I tell my customers always pre-rinse because you're gonna yeah. save products. But unfortunately, being so social media focused, I go straight onto a dirty wheel because you get more purple in, you get more beautiful colors coming out the bottom of the wheel, the, gr the greens, the oranges, the purples, but always pre-rinse. We're not going to, because I want you to get the sex appeal, but always pre-rinse, save yourself some money. <laughs> we gotta make it sexy, okay. So pre-spray, I'm gonna get in here after you pre-spray with a brush here. We got a Detail Factory Boar's Hair brush. Just go in, jump at it. Um, so Boar's Hair, Probably our go-to, right? Soft bristle. I think soft, the soft bristle is just too nice, right? So all the detail factory, the ultra fine, um, it works, right? Especially for coated wheels or maintained wheels or waxed wheels. But at the same time though, I like the black on black boar's hair. I think it looks pretty sweet. You have the orange, which is an exclu a TRC exclusive. You know that? I didn't know that. Very fancy, Very right? Cool. Very fancy. So anyways, getting in here, it is gonna put on a little bit of a show. You can already start seeing here. The reaction. The reaction. Just wanted to highlight, because it's got the two other parts in there, you may find that heel takes 20 or 30 seconds longer to react. That's because it's doing a little bit more. Okay, all right. Don't judge a cleaner on how quickly it reacts. Judge it on how clean your wheels are. Now, what's also nice about Huel, though, Huel's pretty potent, man. I mean, that's for a consumer, for a very consumer-friendly line. This is one of those products that you could spray on, you could rinse off. You'll see it noticeably cleaner. Hundred percent. You'll see it noticeably cleaner. I would cleaner. confidently say, on a day-to-day -day used wheel, it will be ninety percent clean. It will never yeah. be hundred percent because that doesn't exist. But I feel like it's as close to as you'll get. So now. Thing is, here over here at the uh, Sternerclass HQ, their Krenzla is a little bit more powerful than our Krenzla, right? So this thing needs a gun stock, right? Somebody else I need you. like somebody else holding me because now I know why Jack's so big, right? Basically, he eats a lot of protein, then he starts using this thing, and the mass just starts packing on because it is, dude. This thing is seriously, it's powerful. It's like, it's like, what do you say? It was like how many, how many psi? I, I, it's, like two, it's gotta be over two thousand. I, I think it's twenty three hundred. Twenty three hundred. So. You guys are obviously had a lot of practice. So with 2300 PSI, I'm not getting super close on this thing. You're gonna see why here in just a second. Get it started. This thing absolutely rips. <laughs> it rips. Seriously. Shoulders, so I got arm pumps now, right? From just no, it's not that bad. So, um, all right, so we have two more wheels to clean. These ones probably not going to be as exciting to watch, so we're going to knock those out super, super quick, then jump on to the next process. Our most important product, Force Citrus Pre Wash, is called Force because it's the first thing you use on the bodywork. But do not go mad with this product, only use it on the particularly grubby areas, normally the lowers, wing mirrors, front facing parts of the car. Don't waste it because this thing cuts through grime like a beast. So you pre-treat the front too? Only, so. What about bugs? Areas that have got mud, okay. areas that have got bugs. Stuff that's quite stubborn, give it a tickle with force first. Let the pressure washer do the hard bit and then you just go in there and get rid of the last little 10%. Honestly, I, I hate the terminology contact is clean, but if you don't want to touch the car, using this is as close to a contact as clean as you'll get. But again, direct sunlight using force, you probably want to be pretty quick. Absolutely. Right? Don't let it dry on the panel. And as for protective layers, ceramic coatings are fine. Ceramic coatings that are worth their money, they're good as gold. But waxes and sealants, they're going to get a hard time using this. That is why I only suggest using it on the particularly grubby areas. The areas that a snow foam won't lift it off. And you can see it pretty much break down things like almost immediately. Like with bug guts and stuff like that on the front, you can just see like it like lift. It, mel it melts up and you're like, oh, okay, that's, that's, that's pretty sweet. And what it does is it kind of reduces the, the extra need for maybe having to use a dedicated bug remover, right? So a lot of people have a dedicated one. If you're already pre-treating the lowers with something like force and you pre-treat the bugs too, it's easy. With us sitting on here, what's our next step? We're going to get it off. Get it off, okay. We're going to touch it. We're just going to let the pressure washer do the work. Okay. Love seeing that parlor was applied just before Christmas. So what was that? Over six months ago, still holding on. And we say that product only lasts for five months, you know. Under promise, over deliver. So from here, we're gonna rinse the whole car. Gonna snow foam it. Okay. Um, I'm gonna put the snow foam on, agitate with the brush. To be fair, this car is pretty well kept. So we're not gonna need to do too much agitation with the brush just to get rid of this loose dirt that's sat on the top. We'll take it off and then we will two bucket wash method. Let's do it. 
All right, guys, so Jack got the car rinsed. We're ready to jump in with our wash mitt wash. Two bucket, <laughs> seven bucket wash. 75 bucket, 48 70. mitts, <laughs> two hose pipes. The safest wash <laughs> of all time. And then we're gonna do it from an inch away from the panel, just to be extra careful. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys didn't just actually, <laughs> you guys didn't actually even do anything. No. We, go, well, no. well, we like to think we did. Okay, so you're using a TRC wash mitt. I guess that has to mean I'm using a Sterner Gloss wash I have mitt. another wash drag company wash mitt. No, I'm yeah. gonna use this. You sure? I'm gonna use You're this. You're gonna come down with something? No, I'm gonna, I'll use this, it's okay. <laughs> it's all right, it's fine. So this is pretty too, it's good looking. So we have the bubbler in here, so it smells fantastic. And so we're gonna go from one panel to the next. Which side do you start on? The other side? Start the top, wait okay. right down. Start on the top, okay. So at this point, Jack, this is where we start talking about the car. Cool. So I would like to know, what was the plan with this car from the beginning? Did you guys buy it for this purpose? Yeah. Because obviously this thing is pretty freaking wild. In person, I don't know on camera if you can tell how wide this car is or just how really how aggressive it is, but I'm sure you can. In person though, it's kind of 10 times crazier. So give me the rundown. So the car was built purely to grab attention. Okay. It was the, it was the, oh my God, what is that? I need to go over there and have a look. Okay. What do you guys do? And to be fair, it works an absolute treat because everybody does exactly that. What is this? Which is fine, I'm more than happy to explain. A lot of people don't know that it's a Saab. The reason we picked Saab is because it's Scandinavian. Realistically, you've got Saab, you've got Volvo, and you've got Koenigsegg. Unfortunately, budget didn't allow for a Koenigsegg. And Volvo, I feel like... It's, a, it's too safe of an option. It's the safest vehicle on earth, if right? You they, go... Normal people pick a Volvo, weird people pick a Saab. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> exactly that, exactly that. And the Volvo, I feel like you have to dump an obscene amount of money into to stand out. Whereas Saabs aren't really fettled around with. So we thought, right, this is going to be a cheaper route to market to make an impact. Unfortunately, this was not cheap. Um, but the intentions were right. So yeah, it's a Scandinavian show car and going into the actual car, it's a Saab 96 from 1974 Shell. It's a Saab 93 from 2003 engine. GT28 turbo, circa 400 brake, airlift suspension. The color, which is my most favorite part of it, is the Porsche 907 GT3 RS press release color. This is, this is real paint too, right? So, a lot, of, paint, so yes. a lot of people would see this and go, oh, cool wrap. It's not a wrap, it, no. is, it is in fact real paint. And there's a lot of paint on there as well. Custom, one of one body kit. You will never see one like it. And it's made off the blueprints that Eric Carlson, Eric Carlson is the man that designed the original Saab 96. And this was meant to be his SS Super Sport model, which okay. didn't make it to production but it did make it to Elderlum. Now, the reason why we're cleaning this thing up in the first place is because we have a show coming up. Yes, we do. What is that show, The most Jack? important show for detailers in Europe. That is Waxstock at the CBS Arena. It's our first show of the year. And because of lack of time and because of wanting to strive for perfection, we're washing this, giving it a little decontamination today. And then on Saturday, I want to set up the stand and then correct this on site because I feel like you can't get much more perfect than a car that's just been polished. Yep, that's true. We're good to rinse. We are. Bubbler on here. Obviously, we're gonna be left with a nice glossy finish, even on the rinse. And Rinsing it's gonna add to the um, protectional properties as well. So it yeah. is gonna clear the water a little bit quicker than normal. Reason for using low pressure water, because this car is built way before I was, it's got a few holes in it. So we're just trying to reduce the amount of water that goes into the cabin. Also, saves having the pressure washer going oh, in the background. Did you guys have to do new trim on this? Like all the trim, like all the rubber trim, like around like the no, windows, the seals? That's all, right. that's all right, to be fair, that's all legit. That's, that's the original? Yeah. No way. Well, it probably isn't the same one from 1974, but you can buy them again. Yeah. And believe great. it or not, there is quite a following for Saab 96s. In the older generation. All right, so obviously there's a ton of stuff done to this thing. And I don't, I mean, to me it looks like a finished project, right? But to other people's eyes, you know, project can continue on. So uh, what is next for the Saab? So thank you, first and foremost. I am now happy with the outside. We've recently just added the stripes over the top, which really finished it because we had livery on the sides. But if you looked at it from a bird's eye view, it just looked like a gray slab. So now we've got that on there, happy with the exterior. Now I want to put a little bit of time and attention into the interior. We're not going to go Rolls Royce kind of show build, but just tidy it up a little bit where it was painted matte black 
many moons ago. There's some scuffs in there, stuff like that. So just tidy that up, and it would be nice to actually put a panel in there that we could clean, because now we've just got some pole positions, which we've had retrimmed, which look great, and that's it. That's all we can really use our any interior cleaner on. So a bit of Alcantara, a bit of suede, maybe a little bit of carbon fiber, just to make it look as pretty as the exterior, but still keep that raw finish that you said you liked earlier on. And then, Steering wheels, right? So it's already got a steering wheel on there, but do you have a preference? Do you like Alcantara steering wheels or do you like I love leather. Alcantara steering wheels. Funnily enough, I just made a video on this. I love them, but I just think that people need to be a little bit more mindful because the amount of people I see washing, working on the car and then get straight in the car, yeah. it latches onto grease and grime. That's what I don't like about it. Whereas leather, you've got a bit of a fail safe, yeah. but for driving feel, I don't think there's anything better than Suede or Alcantara. Oh, it feels amazing. We're still rinsing, and now what is next after this? What I'm going to hit it to? with some low pressure water out of a jerry can just to make the water bunch together and slide off so we've got even less to dry. Quick detailer. Out of a jerry can? Um, ho uh, yeah. Not, not the fuel can. Let me show you. What is he talking about? This crazy guy. Crazy guy. I'm going to use a jerry can. I have to see this for myself. Purified is water. Oh, it's purified water. In this one. That's a gas can. Oh, uh, no, it's not. That, there's gasoline in that can. That's what, that, <laughs> what, what does the red stand for in the UK? Oh, Jerry, it's a watering can. <laughs> but I see what you're doing. So this is purified water that you guys have inside here. Now, what kind of, is it just, is it just spot-free water? Yeah. Oh, okay, very this, cool. This should, this should be down to like four parts per million. Okay, do you guys have hard water here? Yeah, very. There's oh. so many new builds popping up yeah. that it's just wrecking the water system. Do you know what? Do you know what? Do you know what the? About like two to three hundred. Two to three. Okay, so that's pretty. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much way spread where we are. I mean, in Idaho, which it, it was better a year ago. Like this, what we're doing right now, it already kind of stresses me out. But I, but I have, I have high hopes. This is Parlet's on here, right? Yeah. After it's like six months. Well, just before Christmas, so we're getting on for seven. That's pretty, I mean, it's pretty incredible. I mean, for a car that does actually get driven, it's not driven every single day, no. but I mean. In that time, it's probably put 2,000 miles on it. It's not nothing. It's not nothing, man. That's pretty good. Holy crap, this looks great. But 2,000 miles in British roads. Yeah. Not lovely, clean. I know, but you guys use weird terms like traffic film and whatnot, where Levi, Mr. Levi Gates, master of shine of 25 years, likes to call that dirt. <laughs> it's just a dirty car. Just a dirty car. All right, guys, so Jack finished with the pooling of the water, getting this thing all rinsed off. We're ready to jump into uh, our drying aid, yep. right? So for this, we're using Silka, Silky, Psyche, Psyche, Silk, Silk, Silka. Silk. Silk. All right, we're using Silk today. We use the English version. <laughs> English version, all right. So, and like we've done for everything else in the video, we're swapping rolls here, right? So I'm using this Darren Gloss towel, which is also a twist loop, right? Yep. So gray on one side, we have pink on the other. We Quite pretty. It. It's a pretty towel. We call it the twistic, which means thirsty. Okay. because that's what you want a drying towel to be. But I am loving this twin pile because it's just got that little bit of softness that I do miss from four years ago before the Twisted Loop was, was born. Yeah. Um, but yeah, just gonna use this quick detailer, boost a bit of gloss, add a little bit of lubrication to the drying towel. I know you've got a 70-30 blend and I respect that, but I like a little bit of lubrication between my panel and my towel. Okay, all right, that sounds good. Well, you know what, so what we're doing, oh, a couple sprays here on the towel, that's what we like to do. And then um, we're starting on the roof first, where do you like to start? Yeah. I always do vertical panels, but you know what, we got some thirsty towels here. Give me a couple sprays over here. I got that one in my mouth, but you know what? <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> okay, I'm just kidding, don't, don't taste it, but it does smell amazing, so. Here we go. Oh yeah, that feels great. Dude, that's smooth, man. Levi, do you want to feel how smooth this is? Do you have any interest in feeling the smoothness of this towel? Or feeling the smoothness? Of witness the slickness. Wit wit yeah, witness this. Oh, what? Can I steal that? Can I, start, can I start saying that in these washed ones? I'm gonna help you on your side, only because it's in the sun. Yes, okay, let's get that done first. I'm gonna knock out this. God, this front bumper is so aggressive, but holy crap, this thing. I don't even know where to start. <laughs> I'm gonna, like, spray there, spray there. Sure. Worth mentioning as well, front end of this car has got PPF on it. Okay. Every product, including clay bar, perfectly safe to use on PPF. The only watch outs I would say is solvent-based products such as glass cleaners, tire and glue removers. Go careful near the edges, because if that gets behind the edge, there's a good chance it will lift the PPF. So just be mindful when you're working with vinyl and PPF. 
So I was going to ask you, so what are you going to do? What's your plan for when you polish? Are you going to machine it or are you going to yep. hand polish it? I'm going to machine it using Lake Country pads, using our Shada hand cut or hand applied polish, yep. just to show how much cut it has got. It will not remove real deep scratches. The stuff that you need proper cutting compounds on like H9, it is not that product. Yep. But for this, where it's just real fine surface stuff, Shada is more than enough, paired with the right microfiber, the right um, tool, a little bit of pressure, it's gonna be cool. Granted, if there is something deeper than that, I am not adverse to using my competitor's products, but just wanna show how much can be done with our very basic, very entry level hand polish. Absolutely. From here, right, so we have, we have a dry vehicle, right? Wheels we're probably still gonna go over, touch up really quick. Yeah. Um, anything else left that you wanna do? I am probably, I don't think you have something like this at the record, but I'm probably gonna go over with the big boy blower. Okay. Just to get in the looks of great, because this car is absolutely covered in corners and crevices, just to blow stuff out. Okay. And then I'm going to have a little feel around the lowers of the car, see if we've got anything rough. I'll give it a little tickle with a clay bar, maybe it's a tire and glue remover. There probably shouldn't be much because this car doesn't really get opportunity to get much fallout. Yeah. But we'll have a quick look just so we don't start tearing up pads when we get to the show. Sort the glass out because it's covered in watermarks and put it away. Okay, all right. All right, guys, so that is going to wrap it up for this special edition Wash Wednesday. Jack, thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for having us, Thank right? Thank you so much for coming down. We, we flew all the way over here for just this, just to one, clean this, up. <laughs> just this one single video, and now we're going home. No, in all seriousness, it was awesome, dude. It's badass. This is great. You know, you see all this stuff in the videos all the time that uh, Jack does for all the Sterna Gloss products and being able to be here and do a wash in this same exact lot is pretty sweet. So out of everything we used today, what was your favorite? My favorite is probably the one and only Forced. Okay, the one and only, all right. I would say probably Bubbler. It's probably my favorite that we used, we threw down with. Just wanna say, thank you so, so much for coming over. I need this video to do a million views because this has cost Jeff a lot of money, all right? <laughs> Get them numbers up, like, subscribe, smash the bell, and don't forget, I absolutely love you. All right, cool. Stick around for the after shots and stay tuned for more Wash Wednesdays right here at the Ragsdale.